Welcome back to my channel and this is the final flip through of my 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. I'm just going to take you real quick through all of the layouts that I've created in these 30 days. There are actually a couple of layouts intermixed in here that I did for some other challenges. And you can see on the backs of these that I've gutted cardstock, I've used leftover sticker sheets, I've just made use of a lot of things that are in my stash. I did not go out and purchase anything new this month to make this happen. All of these sketches have been created from sketches that were provided in the 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. The Facebook group will be linked below as well as anyone else that participated through their YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram. There will also be a post there that will give you all the links to all the Instagram people that participated in addition to the YouTube people. But I've taken these sketches, I've made them my own, and yes, I have used my emoji family and my post-it note family in these pictures. I don't have permission from a lot of people to use their photos. They do know that I include them on my layouts in my videos, but again, I don't share family or friends on here unless I have their permission. Some of the layouts, such as this one here with the bath time, are also meeting the requirements that I have as a Little Scraps of Heaven design design team member. So that's where the hippos are from. I am also a close to my heart maker. And so most of my cardstock, if not 90% of my cardstock is from close to my heart. Pattern paper is from close to my heart as well as other box store purchases that I've made. I've been collecting my scrapbook supplies inventory for about as long as I've had my oldest son who will be turning 30 this month. This is also a flip flap and there is very specific instructions in the video for where I created this one for Two Town. This is two by two flip flaps. There are four by 12 flip flaps, four by six flip flaps. There's a large variety. You're welcome to look on my maker website to see what sizes are available. But you can see from this one 12 by 12 layout how I was able to make it into a 12 by 24. This as well on this Toontown layout has also used flip flaps. So flip flaps are a great way to increase the real estate on a layout, include more photos before you have to expand to doing more 12 by 12 layouts in your scrapbook. This one here was fun. I created the little sushi conveyor belt with a thin cut and a punch. This was a lot of fun to run through my die cut machine and create this with those sushi stickers. I've used a lot of Cricut cuts. This playground in the background was created through an image set in Cricut Design Space. This one I was really proud. I made that 60th with individual gems. So this really created a lot of me reaching outside of my box to meet these sketches. So if that's the best recommendation I can give to you for following a sketch is look, I've even done some more Cricut cuts here to meet this two page sketch. It really did broaden my abilities. It forced me to use what's inside of my scrap room. This again was little scraps of heaven designs. This was a caramel apple that I made into the Disney themed caramel apples. This is us playing the game of risk. This was a circle design on a sketch. I used the globe and used characters. This was a, another challenge I did. I don't think this met a, a sketch challenge. This one was really fun to reach out of the box again and make that big shoe print piece of paper work. This almost went viral because I used the drippy goo punch to make the honey drip in these honeycomb thin cuts from Close to My Heart. And then I also used Close to My Heart papers to make these two different themed and color based layouts work. I created the clock from It's a Small World and then met a hexagon shape with not having the proper thin cuts in my room to make hexagons. <laughs> so that is on my shopping list to buy hexagon shapes. A tribute to my aunt who turned 90. So you can see there's just a wide variety of themes and papers and products used. Again, this was another Little Scraps of Heaven Designs to use that frog to 
represent my grandson receiving his first medal for banging basketball, a medalla, a mandala, excuse me, mandala to meet that sketch, and my final one to represent just the end, which was actually the beginning of my Disney trip. I hope that you'll go into the description below, follow everyone that participated through these 30 days. I'm going to be taking the next two months to go through and find everyone and watch their videos too. Thank you for your support and encouragement. Have a great crafty day. Bye-bye.